What is going on YouTube? One only extra here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to today's video. We're outside on any motor power sports because we're going to go test out a bike much like that one, but a little bit more peppy, a little bit more special. Today's all about Envy Augustus and some really cool features that they have. So come inside. Let's check them out. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at this beautiful 2021 Envy Augusta Turismo Veloce RCSC. So many words, so many acronyms, but this little thing, we're going to give it a little ride today and go over the dash because what's in these bikes now, these MVs, is amazing. I want to share it with you, kind of talk about the riding experience, and of course, can't thank all any motor power sports enough for allowing me to ride this beautiful beast. <laughs> you hear me laughing because I'm in first gear. Oh, let me rephrase that. I was in first gear. I'm in first gear now. And here we go. Stop sign. First gear. This is what trips me the hell out. I'm in first gear right now. And no clutch is pulled in. <laughs> I can just go. Oh, the motor. This 800cc three-cylinder engine. It's in all of their smaller bikes. And I'll tell you what. It is a peppy, fun, little quick motor. The throttle response is so smooth. Ah, just very, very nice. <laughs> oh my God, this is so freaking weird. Ah, it is tall. I am six foot and I am on my tippy toes. But man, <laughs> what a weird experience. Look at that, first gear. No clutch needed. I'm so used to pulling a clutch in. Now, one thing I want to note about the transmission, the quick shifters that I use in bikes like the Brutale and the F3, I've mentioned in low speed, they're rather clunky and you have to be in high revs and that's kind of indicative to uh, some other sport bikes as well, but rather noticeable on these MVs. Whereas this bike, the quick shifter, <laughs> I'm sorry, that hill, you lose your stomach. It's like a little roller coaster. It's so much fun. But anyway, the quick shifter for this motorcycle, because it is the SCS, I think, is actually very smooth, especially on the downshifts, which is what the clunky part was on the other bikes. <laughs> I tell you what, not holding the clutch in while at a stop sign or stoplight is very strange. You almost don't want to trust it. First gear, no clutch, it's so strange. <laughs> oh, it just picks up, what a fun bike. Well, I'll wait for some traffic to clear here, which I think I got some room. We'll give it the beans and have a little bit of fun. Oh, it's like nothing. <laughs> It's not the most insane pickup. You're not going to get freaked out. But it's just effortless. And it does it so easily. It turns. <laughs> For a bike this size. And it's not that it's big. You would think it's top heavy. It just isn't. You sit down in the bike pretty decently. One thing I am noticing about the dash here. And I know a lot of you are probably like, well, don't look at the dash. But... The gear change when you actually shift takes a split second to show what gear you're in. I do mean it is a split second, but there is a little bit of lag there. <laughs> I keep forgetting I don't have to pull the clutch in to slow it down. <laughs> it's so weird. Right, so we are in sport mode here. I want to give it a little bit of play. See what she's about. Oh, the throttle pickup is very nice in sport mode. And what I like about that because uh, some bikes, when you put it into a more aggressive mode, they become twitchy. And the Turismo Veloce, when it's sport mode, it's still very, very docile, still very, very nice. <laughs> Not using the clutch is such a weird aspect. It really is. But it actually makes it kind of easy. So all you got to do is focus on your throttle control and dragging the rear brake a little bit for a tight turn. Yeah. 
That is beautiful. It's a very nice, nice quick shifter. And it, what I do like about it is there's a little bit of weight on it. The problem with my Aprilia is it's so light and so easy to shift gears, you can't really tell that you've shifted gears. On this, because there's some weight, there's a little bit of feedback there. You can feel the shift up or down, and I really like that. I haven't talked about the brakes very much, but honestly, they're great. <laughs> they're Brembo's. They work really well. They got a good bite initially, and they got a good progressive power to them. And there you go, brakes. <laughs> we'll talk about it more in a minute. What a fun freaking bike. So let's get this bad boy back to on the Motor Power Sports, and let's talk about it a little bit. So we're here with this 2021 Turismo Veloce RC SCS. And I tell you what, it is a freaking fun, comfortable machine to ride. The throttle is super smooth, but it's all about this right here, the smart clutch system. Envy got to partner with the Recluse and made this clutch pack that never really disengages in a way. It's, it almost feels like an automatic and it's very unique. It, it takes a little bit to get used to because you wanna always have your clutch in at a stop. It's very hard to not do that. And unless you ride an electric motorcycle, you're gonna have this problem. You're gonna to wanna to be reaching for the clutch. And then you just kinda of tell yourself, hey, I don't need to do that. It's such a strange sensation, but I'll tell you what, the way that this package works, it's really freaking good. And I tell you what, it really helps with slow maneuver, parking lot maneuvers, because the only thing you really have to worry about is slight throttle application and a little bit of rear brake you gotta drag. And you can do a tight maneuver really easily with this motorcycle. The Turismo Veloce, you know, again, I reviewed it. That link's in the description below. It's got the 800cc motor. It's got about 110 horsepower, 59 pound-feet of torque. So it's nothing to blow your doors off, but it's so usable. It's so seamless. It's just a really, really pleasant machine to ride. It's not herky-jerky or anything like that. And the Trisma Veloce has different riding modes, rain, touring, and sport. And then it goes into your custom mode where you can you know, change your ABS settings. You can change your traction control settings and whatnot. Now with the ABS, there's two settings, on, one or off. Traction control, there's eight different levels of it, which I think is pretty cool to have. I mean, I don't think there necessarily needs to be eight, but it's nice to have, right? So talk about the riding modes. Let's get into the stash a little bit because there's some features on here that are a little bit different and, and pretty unique uh, to this particular motorcycle. So as we bring it on, you see it does this little system check, which I think is pretty cool. And it starts with your gear, your setup or your display. You can change that stuff. Then you get into heated grips. It's not just on or off. There's three levels of heated grips, which, <laughs> Here in Arizona, you might need setting one. Everywhere else, you might need more than that. Next, you have your suspension setup, which I think is probably one of the most unique parts of this particular Turismo Veloce is that it tells whether you have a single rider, you have a rider with your luggage and stuff on here, you have two riders, or you have two riders and some luggage. It's really, really cool, so that way it knows what to set your suspension to, because this is an electronic suspension. Then you go to your speed limiter. If you want to set a speed limit to this motorcycle, you can. Uh, it's off, so <laughs> that's probably where it should stay. And then obviously it's got cruise control. Most bikes nowadays have cruise control. Uh, well, I'm kind of interested to see what happens when we start bringing in some adaptive cruise control. That'd be some gnarly stuff to have on a motorcycle. I'm sure some bikes have it, but right now this will do. MV Augusta has some beautiful seats that are just not very comfortable. This is not one of those seats that's not comfortable. It is so thick, so plush. You sit on it, you sink a little bit, and then it's, it's like a medium pillow, if you will. And to go with that, I mentioned the electronic suspension. It is also very, very plush. It adjusts so quickly and so well to some bumpy roads. And you know, some the test road that I go on always has some bumps here and there. And this motorcycle, Trismo Veloce, soaks them up so well. Now we're going to the brakes a little bit because I gotta talk about brakes. They're great. They're Brembo's. They're not the super high-end ones that are very bitey. These brakes have a great initial feel and then a very, very strong progression afterwards. And for this motorcycle, for what you're going to do on it, I think they're perfect. They match the bike beautifully and it makes the chassis feel even more balanced and it gives you a lot of confidence. Now, as you might imagine with a bike that's always in gear, you might think, well, what's it going to roll on you? Well, if you don't have the brake on, yeah. Which MV Gus addressed that by putting a parking brake on. Ta-da, parking brake on a motorcycle. Really awesome that MV Augusta comes straight from the factory with all these beautiful bits. That clear clutch cover is something that actually came 
found the factory with it and their partnership with Recluse really shows through and how this clutch really works well with the transmission and everything else that MV has here. It's what really lends to the price of MV Augusta because it's the tension of detail that they put into so many different parts of their motorcycles that really makes them stand out a little bit more than the mass produced motorcycles. And I love this Trismo Veloce and the RC livery. I love the gray, the red, and the black. It's a very stunning motorcycle and you think it's a touring so there's got the it doesn't need to have any style but MV Augusta always comes out with things that are very stylish and this bike is striking and stunning. This Trismo Veloce is absolutely outside my norm as far as motorcycles go but man is it a fun bike and I can't thank on any motor power sports enough for allowing me to take this one of 200 bike out and give it a test ride and then do this sweet review for you guys. Ah, what a fun machine. If you're looking for an 800cc, don't really want a thousand, but once something's comfortable and can go anywhere, again, dirt is questionable, but be super fun for a daily rider, check out a Trismo Veloce. It doesn't necessarily have to be an RCSE, but I tell you what, this SCS system is phenomenal. Absolutely something to experience. With that, you all have a good one. I'm out. Get on this thing. Oh God, I got the pants. I got the pants, it's different. Nope. Does not work. Here, how the f you change the mode? Well, Envy Augusta thought of that with a parking brake. There's actually three different settings.